Yes, villagers, we're going to be shadowing a group in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, or Nostrand and Fulton to see if their methods of deterring crime are being successful. If you're new to this channel, welcome to our village. If you're a returning villager, welcome as well. So, let's get into it. Welcome to Garden of the Mind, where we reduce stress, improve our health and fitness, and improve our financial IQ every episode. We must believe more than... I, I now am the founder of Mentor, but I'm really not. I'm founding the, the, the organization, but I'm just hosting now. It belongs to the men. And yes, we do have sisters, but they are not as uh, present right now. We're... Uh, uh, collaboration of men all throughout the borough. Some even come as far as um, Harlem and the Bronx, but we're here. We're uh, a group of men of color who say we want to be present, we want to be change agents, and we're out front and we're present to be what we're looking for. I came out here today to meet the community, to have a conversation with the community, to let the community know what our origin is, our natural origin as this awesome community that we are you know sometimes we lose sight of where we are sometimes we lose sight of what we have and so that what brings me out here to say good evening good morning good afternoon how you doing brother how you doing sister you know that listen we still here we, we're still people well, basically we want to make our presence known in the community that's number one Number two, we want to join uh, in a unified fashion with the members of the community. Number two, we want to establish some, something on the terms of like a block watch. Because during this time, uh, the, the PM rush hour, uh, a lot of craziness kicks off. So, especially on this corner. So, we want to make sure that our presence is here so that we can be behind the block. So, when something breaks out, we can assist. If, if we call 911 or we can help stop somebody from robbing somebody else or whatever. You know, we, the scripture in the Bible asks the question are, are we all brothers' keeper? And the answer is yes. We try to keep a hold of our brothers and sisters in our community. Bring me out here. Brothers, you need to get out. Be more involved in the community than we are right now. We hope to accomplish change. We, we hope to accomplish uh, being more unified, having more unity in our community. Um, that we have, we know that there are problems, but we have to be part of the solutions. We have to come up, not only come up with them, but execute them. Conversation, dialogue, understanding, answers, solutions. We all know the problems, so we don't have to discuss that just having a dialogue. That's the beginning. True, honest dialogue. Dialogue where we can show our indifference and still come with a solution because we all the same. Law enforcement kicks in um, after something happens. We're trying to preempt and prevent stuff from happening by us here. Uh, a couple of years ago, we were on, at least in Europe, um, our project council, um, we were on uh, Stanley and Van Sickle because and, and we stayed there from like 10 o'clock at night to like 5 or 6 in the morning, on Friday night and Saturday night. And the, the crime rate on that corner dropped by, uh, no quote me, by, by, by like 10 or 12 percent. Uh, excuse me, by 10 or 12 times. So when it used to be like four or five incidents every weekend, it dropped down to virtually one incident for that whole summer. Okay? So, uh, again, again, not trying to be law enforcement, trying to be police officers, but trying to prevent stuff from happening so that there's no need to call the police officers. Uh, it's not just about the prevention, it's about presence. Okay. It's about brothers being seen in the community, realize that we have not left the community, we're here to protect the community. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I've heard some, I ain't going to say stories, but I heard some situations about what, what transpired around here. And every time we are here, now, one time as we had an incident, we almost had an incident, but when, when several of, the, of, of, of us brothers, you know, uh, surrounded the situation, that diffused it. Other than that, we have never known something happened while we were here. When we were not here, 
I can tell you something that could have happened. <laughs> you standing here on the corner and say hello, good evening, good night to folks, and showing my presence. Because my presence stops a lot of this crime. This area is known for high area crime. We're getting reacquainted with our community. We're letting them know we're here. So I hope next Monday they look for us. Make sure you have a smile upon you. Stay strong and be safe. Thank you. Now they say as far as change goes, if you change one life, then you've helped to change the world. So let's see if that's been done. Well, I came out here to switch my phone company, but I ran into you fellas and I heard you guys speaking positive message, and that's what I'm about, positivity, and bringing awareness to our community that we need to change, and only how we can make change, we got to start within our own self. And that's what I need this brotherhood right here. Y'all stand for good and positive things. I stand for positive things in my community, but I'm a woman and I need strong men to back me up. You brothers. So to me, it wasn't by accident I ran into y'all. It was by faith. Okay? I was supposed to then come over here, but I didn't. I stopped to get some fish. <laughs> but God put people in the right place at the right time. It wasn't meant for me to come over here when I first came to Notion Avenue. It was meant for me to come over here now to hear the brotherhood speak and speak positive message. And I'm standing online and I heard what you guys were saying and it, it touches my soul. So I came out here to introduce myself and to get to know you guys. And I'm hey, thankful and tonight. grateful. How you doing tonight? And if you can please Give me some type of assistance, some help, right. and come speak to the young brothers in my community because that's what I'm doing. Because it takes a whole community, whole black village to raise these black kids, okay? And I appreciate everything y'all doing. And if you need me for anything, I'm right there. Thank you. Let's remember that one person can make a difference. One person can't do everything, but they sure can do something. So let's see if we can do the things that we need to do to change our community. And remember, thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. I'll see you for our next episode. I'll see you then.